Have the courageous ability to stretch your neck down any true, pure, intentional rabbit hole and peer into an infinite paradoxal vortex of ever-changing complexities and, at the very least, attempt to accurately understand explanations available from the vast knowledge that life gives us to experience. This is a loving, beautiful, magical, tornado-type, true fairy tale story of life. You're going to have to imagine an edge of a seat to sit on, though. We have to be fully aware and conscious of the coincidences in our lives. Mysterious coincidences, if taken seriously, give us spirituality operating within everything we do. If you can fathom a change we could take collectively, all 8.6 billion of us, to make our world a better place, then you're listening to the right message at this point in history. Our youth of this world need a vision of the future that starts with love, giving dignity and respect to all people. An amazing worldwide integrity will emerge with an eventual end to corruption due to the lack of the need for greed that currently exists. Our relentless joint focus with our massively, continuously growing positive influence that is contagious will be that changing factor. If we personally try to begin each thought, no matter how quickly the thought process has to be, with true, pure intention, and acknowledge karmically that each thought and voiced or physical action that are all ultimately connected with energy matter universally, then, and only then, can we get better and better at it each and every single day. If we try to be a good person and think that it is imperative and best to continue and grow to become a better person that loves everyone and everything in life, Adamant or inanimate objects, say our pets, a beautiful granite rock, or a cascading waterfall, magnificent tree, or an exquisitely eye-catching sceneries, for examples, and follow our true pure intention with conscious intent. If we are willing to share the thought process involved behind the events in our lives, and situations responsible for shaping our core values and belief system that we personally follow, dreams can come true. If we attempt to follow the four natural absolute laws of the universe that most people don't even know about, these four laws can progressively proceed to work with and enhance the powerful effects that can be achieved. Try following our interesting path of destiny while adapting with the four natural absolute laws as laid out by our ancestral heritage. Advancing our personal ideologies every day, not just spiritually, but physically and mentally. Really taking steps in our lives to moving consciously, always on a quest for knowledge and using a possible synth synthesis of positive viewpoints from other cultures and ways of existence throughout the entire globe. Everyone's situation on the planet is different. How can one person's outlook or a small collaboration of views from a particular vantage point be absolutely correct? If a problem isn't analyzed and investigated from every possible angle, it may not be right. Even if it's kind of working, like the way the world works right now, in almost 2024. It is in complete and utter disgraceful disarray. The four natural absolute laws of the universe are, follow our unique personal truth with pure love intentions. There are karmic consequences to our thoughts and actions. There is an internal interactive energy connection equally between people. And lastly, we need to give the service of equality for all humans on our planet. It is essential for us to start helping 
anyone, and everyone in the world now. Everything happens for a reason in the universe. From the collective thoughts and personal dreams that we all aspire to attain in our particular lives. If our dreams are truly for the collective good of everyone, we can envision great things that help all the people around live a more enriched, ever deeply evolving existence. The dream isn't and can't be, I am going to get me ownership of 10 futuristic vehicles for myself to operate. It should be equal futuristic vehicles to travel in, to and from destinations shared by all others harmoniously, equal accessibility, not I'm going to get me a house on every continent. No one else can use it or disrupt my use when I get there. It should be, it's imagine if everyone in the world had the protection of adequate, no holes in the roof, accommodations, and less bacteria, mold, and viruses circulating in the millions of poor people's lifestyles presently. Let's address it now. Start processes to fix it now, not later. When we stop trying to acquire excessive personal belongings and trapped wealth, money, anything associated with money, big bank accounts, gold, valuables, collections of rare artifacts, comics, sports cards, with monetary value, if everyone gave their hoarded collections, whether it be your $5 billion bank account that gives you status to leave you legacy and noticeable accomplishments and bragging rights and notoriety, it's not about that. It's going to prove to the world, present and future generations, for all to see that we rise to the top of the world. We were the best of the best at the time and the greatest minds and most complete view of the world. It shouldn't be I was the leader, the president, or a doctor, ruler, dictator, physicist, astronomist, head psychiatrist, record holder of a particular sport or event. I was the toughest gladiator or conqueror in the world. When we, as a generation of people, ignore the true problems happening around us, we are part of the problem. We all need to wake up and get out of the need and greed that drives our present lives. All of us, collectively. Now it's not so easy to say, I've heard that before, right? Tell me something I don't know. Yeah, funny, you can spit it and say it, but why don't you follow it then? We need to include everyone, continue to evolve and practice being better, more loving human beings. There is a natural law in the universe and if we start fully integrating them, we can feel the intentions of others around us. We are able to access the true pure intention or negative intent of people's reactions to their thoughts that get sent to us by an action portrayed verbally or physically by that person. Everyone has a core energy in the world that can't be ignored. The core energy available to all of us equally as unique individuals from the universe. It can be felt internally. If we have an almost continuous positive outlook of the future, our most beautiful dreams of laughing, singing, coexistence, that's the equal connection we want to have on earth in the present, co-mingling of friends, now. If we really look at the expression as a whole on a person's face, it's like an inkblot st ink 